Welcome to this video. Here we will present how to define secant and tangent pile wall sections inside our software program DPEX. DPEX is our software program for deep excavation design and analysis. It can design any common wall type and support system using various analysis methods. In DPEX we can define easily several secant and tangent pile wall sections using either reinforced concrete piles or piles supported by steel sections, pipes, I-beams, channels and more. In addition, we provide combined pile sections with both reinforced concrete and steel reinforcement. Inside the software, we can access our wall on the model area and we can select to edit the structural section of the wall. Here we can create several wall sections and in each one of them we can define the wall type. Here we can see the different second pile sections that we can select from, so we can press any of these buttons. And here we can see the different tangent pile wall sections. When we are using reinforced concrete piles in our software program, then we need to define the number of rebars and the rebar size. Also we can define the shear reinforcement. When you are using steel sections, then we can select a steel beam section from the software database. So inside the software we have implemented databases with I-beams, channels, pipes and more. And we can easily define the steel beam section from the list. If we access the software, in the first section we will select to use a reinforced concrete second pile wall. And here we can go to the concrete rebar tab where we can define the number of rebars and the rebar size. Down here we can define the shear reinforcement. In the second created wall section we will select to use a tangent pile wall with I-beams. And here from the drop down we will select to use an I-beam section HP14. In DPEX software, for tangent pile walls, we can define a pile offset, so the piles are not aligned. And for second piles, we can select to use different diameter for the unreinforced piles, and we can also select to use multiple unreinforced piles. Inside the software, for the tangent pile walls, the spacing S is the spacing between every consecutive pile. Here down we can select to change the pile offset and we can define something and if we go to the draw we can see the new wall section. For the second pile walls, this wall spacing is the spacing between every supported pile. The default option in the software is to have one supported and one unsupported pile. Down here we can edit the pile diameter of the unsupported piles so we can select that it is different and we can select something different and we can readjust the spacing. Also we can select to use multiple unsupported piles and select among one, two or three and we can also edit the wall spacing accordingly. Here in the draw tab we can see the new created section. Visit our websites to get more information about our software programs and services. If you wish to arrange a free online presentation with one of our technical experts, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching this video.